Welcome to the Ogles channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's talk about how to cheese the three putrid tree spirits in the capital of Ash in Elden Ring. Now, first off, this is more of a uh, hidden boss to me because you wouldn't ever come to this area and you certainly wouldn't backtrack at the capital of Ash unless you just simply knew that these bosses were down here. And so from this waypoint that I'm at here, just simply um, travel the path that I'm on. And of course, I'll speed it up to make sure you get there a little bit faster. Uh, in the video, but just simply travel this path here until you get to what would what would have been a lake that's covered in sand now that has the three uh, putrid tree spirits in it. Now, initially, when you get to here, there'll only be one putrid tree spirit, and you can take them one at a time, and, and that's fine. But to me, it's it's easier if you just go ahead and trigger all of them and then work your way through them. So when you get to this little patch of desert here, just simply take the left hand side and run through the entire area and then rush back over to the staircase and up to this little spot right here. Two of the three tree spirits will try to uh, come at you and the other one just simply sits there. And the one that's sitting there is going to be your easiest one at the end. But let's talk about the other two, the uh, harder ones at first. Now, all you really need to do is stand on this platform right here. So I guess when I say harder, it's not really that much harder. Stand on the platform here and you can just wait for them to come over and, and they'll eventually come over and you can use your rotten breath to go and get Scarlet Rot in on them. Or you can use your arrows and you can shoot at them and you can get them aggravated and they'll come over here. And at that point you can use your uh, Scarlet Rot or your rotten breath on them. So either wait them out or just sort of uh, tempt them over here. Doesn't matter, but your whole goal is just simply to stand here and as you're standing here, just simply throw out the Rotten Breath. And you'll eventually kill both of the Tree Spirits by doing this method. Um, sometimes the second of those two won't come over unless you do shoot with arrows. Or if you run over there and um, throw Rotten Breath on it or something like that. But essentially, anytime you attack it, um, if it's not with arrows, just simply rush back to this little safety area on the edge of the cliff. And you'll be completely fine. Simple as that. Now the third one is um, if you have Poison Mist, way easier. Just simply sneak around to the right edge. He doesn't move, he just sits here. And you can throw out the Poison Mist and you can poison him and slowly take the health away that way. Or what you can do here is just simply take the route I'm going, throw out the Rotten Breath, get Scarlet right in on him, and then just run away. And once you get to the other side of the area, the, the arena here, he'll eventually just settle back into his old spot. And then you wait for his health to uh, deplete about halfway down and then come back over and throw out some more Rotten Breath, get Scarlet Rot, and run away. Either way, uh, whether it's Poison Mist or Scarlet Rot, you're going to have a similar effect on it. It just depends on how much you want to run away and take a chance on possibly dying. Because if you die um, after you killed any of them, they always come back. So you have to get all three in one swift blow if you want to count this boss battle. And of course, when you do finish it, you get a little fancy medallion up here, which is actually a really good one to have within the game. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Share my other Elden Ring cheese and strategy videos listed up above. And as always, go out there, find the great game to play, and just simply have a great rest of the day.